Hello everyone, welcome back to another lecture. This is lesson four. It's titled Slope Point Form. Uh, very similar to the last lesson, which was Slope Intercept Form. But instead, we are using this form whenever we know the slope and a point on the line instead of the slope and the intercept. Uh, there is not a whole lot of writing in the first page and a half, uh, a little bit. So I'm just going to show it on the big screen here and talk our way through it. Uh, and then when we get to some problems, I'll do some writing. Uh, I can see I've already got on the wrong section here, but that's okay. So um, let's start. Uh, if you know the slope of a line and the coordinates of a point on the line, we can determine the equation. So the slope uh, of the line on the right is negative 3, goes down 3 and over 1, and passes through the point P, which is negative 2, 5. Uh, we can use any other point on the line, and we're going to say Q, and we're going to label those that point X, Y. It's just generic. And on the graph, you can see that the point is not at any line juncture. And that is to represent that like it can be really anything uh, on the line. It's just generic. It doesn't actually have to be written as a point. It's just x and y. So we are going to then plug that information, the slope, the point that we know, and our generic point into our slope formula. m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, which is rise over run. And we're all very familiar with that at this point. Uh, so we're going to substitute the values in. And we're going to work the negative through on the bottom, and we get negative 3 is equal to y minus 5 over uh, x plus 2. Uh, we are going to then multiply both sides by x plus 2, and we're going to turn it into a form that is a little bit more familiar to us. Uh, it's going to look similar to the um, slope uh, intercept form when we're done. Not exactly the same, but similar. So you multiply both sides by x plus 2 and simplify that to get negative 3 times x plus 2 uh, equals y minus 5. Um, what we're going to do is we are going to um, then flip it. So we're going to flip it over the uh, equal sign uh, and nothing changes except for the way that it looks. So you can see we're left with y minus 5 and then we'll have negative 3 times x plus 2. I have an extra x here, which I shouldn't have. Right there. Um, so what this does is this shows us the slope, which is right here. And it shows us the point that we have with the signs reversed. If you remember, uh, the slope uh, or sorry, the point that we were given was um, negative 2, 5. You can see that the y value over here is negative 5. Ooh, you can't see that. That's okay. You can see that the y value over here is negative 5, so that means that we have plus 5 here. The value of the uh, term in the brackets with the x is plus 2, which means that the point is negative 2. Uh, we do not need to multiply this 3 through here when we're doing this form of the equation because it shows us the point and the slope uh, that we were given. So now we don't actually have to rearrange this every single time. Uh, this equation is written in slope point form as both the slope and the coordinates uh, of a point on the line can be identified from the equation. Um, we'll do some more uh, practice with this. Uh, let's see. So what we're given here is the generic way um, to do this. Um, it is very similar to the way that we did with numbers, except um, there are no numbers involved and it just shows kind of what we talked about. So we're given the equation where we have generic x and y values and then we have a specific point as y1 and x1. Uh, we're gonna multiply each side by the bottom part of the bracket, which is what we did when we did x plus two in the last part. We're going to simplify it and we got the slope um, with the x values over here and the y value over here. We then flipped it over so that we could find out what the slope um, and the points were. So m was the slope and the point is x1 and y1 and we just want to make sure that we always flip uh, the signs of those. 
So let's do an example. I've been neglecting to scroll, I apologize, but we'll scroll all the way to the example now. Okay, so the example. Describe the graph of the linear function with this equation. Um, so what we want to do, um, we are going to find out what the slope and the points are that are on the graph, and then we're going to uh, draw that graph. Um, so let's do that. Uh, we have y minus 2 is equal to 1 third x plus 4, which means that the slope of this line is right here, 1 third. And the point that we have on the line is the x value but flipped over, so negative 4, and then the y value but flipped over, so plus 2. So that is the point on the line, and that is the slope. Uh, what we are going to do for the general equation is 0.4. So we're going to um, draw the graph and then we're going to write the equation from that graph and then compare them. So let's make our graph. Go up to 4, so I'll go up to 5 just to be safe. And what we're going to do is plot it. So we're starting at negative 4, 2. So over here and then two. And then we're going to go up one and over three. Up one and over three. Up one and over three to get our line. Okay, so does that quite cross at that? I know it looks like it does um, because of the way I've drawn it. Um, but we can't exactly write out what the intercept would be. And that's actually why this uh, form of the equation is very useful. Because sometimes the y-intercept is not always um, perfect. So y-intercept not readable from the graph. So this is why th this equation is good. So when we compare the general equation um, with the slope point form, we actually can't. Um, and that's why this one is good. Uh, I believe there's a try it on your own next. Yes, so there's a try it on your own. Uh, you're going to write the slope in a point and you're going to graph the function. So pause here and come back when you're done and see if you did it correctly. All right, let's do this thing. So we've got y plus 1 is equal to negative a half x minus 2. Uh, the slope right away I see is negative a half and a point would be I take the x value and I flip it so that's plus two I take the y value and I flip it that's negative one so th that is my point and my slope when it says to describe the graph that's what it wants we are then going to graph this function we have one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four or I don't think I'll need much more than that. I'm looking at really small numbers, ones and twos. So the point that I start at is two, negative one. So I go one, two, negative one. I start right here. And the slope is going to be down one and over two. So that's down one and over two. Okay, so now that I've gone this way, that's actually looking like, I, I can't really make another one with how I've drawn my graph. So. Not only can I go down one and over to the right two, I could go up one and over to the left two, which would get me a point here at the origin. It would also get me a point, let's see, up one and over two, get me a point over here, and we can describe our line that way. So a negative slope uh, is always down and to the right, but if you run out of space that way, you can also go up and to the left, kind of the exact opposite. The same works when you have a positive slope, you'll be going down and to the left, uh, the exact opposite of what we usually talk about. Um, so that is the try it on your own, I hope that went well. Uh, let's do another example here. We are going to write an equation in slope point form and slope intercept form for this line. Okay, let's see what we can do. Um, 
let's count between the two points to find out what our slope is. So it looks like I go one, two, three up and one, two, three, four over. Uh, just by counting, I see that my slope is three over four and it's positive because it's going up to the right. Uh, I'm gonna pick out any point on that line. I'm gonna choose the point three, one, the upper right point, three, one. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is write the equation in slope point form. So slope point form, uh, we have y, and then it's always the opposite sign of the y value. So since it's positive here, it's going to be negative here. So y minus one is equal to, the slope is three quarters, and then it is in the brackets, it is the opposite of the x value. So the x value is positive three, so we are going to subtract three, and that is your slope point form right there. Now, as you can see, again, it doesn't cross, the line doesn't cross uh, the, the y-axis at a nice point so that I could just pick it out and write the y equals mx plus b form, our slope intercept form. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to rearrange it. I'm going to work this fraction through. Uh, I'm going to find out what that slope actually is. So we can't find it from the graph, but we can find it from uh, the line that we're given already. So we have y minus one is equal to three quarters x plus minus three. We're gonna work the three quarters through. y minus one is equal to three quarters x minus nine quarters. All right, I'm gonna multiply the top values um, and I'll leave the bottom. So then what I wanna do is I wanna add one to both sides. So add one to this side. But to add one over here, I need it as a fraction. And if I'm adding one, I'm actually adding four over four, right? Four over four is one, and it's just a way that I can actually add it to here. So y is equal to three quarters x minus nine plus four is minus five fourths. So that is actually our line in the slope intercept form, right? The slope is the same. Right, the slope in both of them is three quarters, that's good. And then our intercept is some weird fraction right here. That is the intercept. So we've written it in um, the slope point form and this is the slope intercept form. The steps, you multiply the slope uh, through the x values. You're then going to have to often use fraction adding to get the y all by itself and then you're left with the slope and the intercept uh, in your usual form. When I say usual, it's the most common one that we'll be um, talking about as we move forward. Uh, let's do another example. Example three. We're gonna write an equation in slope point form and slope intercept form for a line that passes through the point T and Q. So we're not actually given a graph this time, we're just given points and that is okay because we can just use this point, these points to find the slope and then use a single point to write the uh, slope point form. Uh, so the slope is going to be equal to, let's call Q.2 and uh, T.1. So that would be 360 minus 180, Y2 minus Y1 over four minus three, that's Y2, X2 minus X1. We are left with 180 over one. That means the slope is 180. So that is a good start. We can then take one of the points. I took point Q, it looks like, and plug it in to the form um, that has the slope and the point in it. So that would be Y. Now we're going to be the opposite of uh, the y coordinate, which is 360, so that's minus 360, is equal to the slope we had already agreed was 180 x, and then the opposite of four, which is minus four. So that is the slope point form. Not too bad. What we're going to do then is take this and turn it into slope intercept form uh, to find out what the intercept would be uh, and turn, turn it into our most common form. So 
So let's move the 180 through the brackets. We're left with y minus 360 is equal to 180x minus 180 times minus 4. Uh, so that's 360, 720. So this would be negative 720. Uh, we're then going to add 360 to both sides. No fractions. That's great news. Y is equal to 180x minus 360. So this then is our slope intercept form. The slope being 180, the same as I found originally, placed into my slope intercept form. I kept it all the way through. And then the y intercept being negative 360 for whatever type of problem um, this is. We have one more example to do together. And then we let loose on the do nows. So. Example four, write an equation for the line that passes through R and is parallel to the line. Um, so this is two examples here. We're going to do one that is parallel uh, to the line um, y equals two over three x minus five and then perpendicular to that same line. Uh, so um, what we're going to do is we're going to pull the slope out of those lines first and foremost. So for the parallel line, the slope is equal to two Huh. said two but wrote a three, two thirds. Uh, and then we have a point R, which is one minus one. So I can p plug that in to the slope point form right away to find out a li uh, the, the line that's parallel to that line that's given. Uh, so Y, we're going to go opposite of the Y value, so that's plus one is equal to two thirds for the slope x and the opposite of the x value, so that's negative 1. And that, my friends, is your slope point form for that one. Uh, we also know that we want a line that's perpendicular to um, the line given. So that means that the slope for the perpendicular line is a negative reciprocal. So we flip the fraction and we make it negative. So now this is our new slope and we can use the same points um, so we would be having y plus 1 is equal to the new slope is negative 3 halves x minus 1 that is your slope point form uh, so when you're given lines uh, you're given information about your uh, slope uh, of your line and you can work off that uh, if you guys have any questions please let me know thanks very much for watching uh, and have a good one everyone